as the veil starts thinning and we are becoming more attuned to our higher self and our inner child and as we're starting to question where our higher self starts and where our matrix body begins is now leading us to becoming more aligned with our multi-dimensionality so with that being said my name is Ruben Dante if you're new to this channel please hit the subscribe button and if this is something that interests you in any way and if you choose to sign up to my rubendance.com website which is free there's a lot more information there that i'm willing to share with people that are a part of that community that doesn't always make it out to youtube and for every 100 subscribers that i get i will also on this channel and on my rubendance.com i will also be giving away uh four readings per every 100 new subscribers that are subscribed to both so with that being said guys something that is completely new that is really happening now is that people are becoming a lot more aware of their multidimensional nature and we are seeing this with a lot of the light code ab activation happening and coming down on the collective right now so a lot of people are having a lot more awareness of the creative abilities and the way we perceive education or the education that we tend to value or have valued up to this point is now evolving the way we perceived intelligence was which before was predicated on systems of memorization and models that really were predisposing people to being plugged into the matrix to varying degrees whether that is you know working at a at a job where you were where that was very mechanical or you were even doing a six-figure income where you were not able to manifest your creativity there's a lot of overlap between the energetic resonance of a prison and of a school and now people are realizing that we are much more creative and as those things are being activated now people are realizing the propensity that what we do today has an impact on who we are tomorrow and also has an impact on the way we perceive the past and the way that past is is changing the way we even transmute things that have happened in the past as the bills are thinning and as the ascension process begins something that i started to realize is that i was re-watching a lot of my videos that i was doing you know that i did four five six months ago and i realized that i a lot of things were hitting me in a way that i did not even realize that i could have possibly comprehended and so it started to become very clear to me that even though i thought that i was completely understanding and i and i remember everything i say in a specific video it was hitting me completely different and that's when i realized and it really came to me very clearly that that time space is not only an illusion but we a lot of times when we think about our past or things that we've done in our past it is guided by the higher self and in that moment we don't always realize and as those time frames are now collapsing a lot of the things that i was saying i was thinking where was i during that time to receive the very advice that i was giving or the very enlightenment that i was giving or the messages channel messages that were coming through me something that i've always said is from god through me and as i was listening to things that hit me completely different today i realized the multidimensionality nature in which we are operating on and have been operating on this whole time it's the reason why a lot of times we watch a film and then we realize that there were so many messages that were so multidimensional that hit us in a different way so every channeling or everything that is divinely guided or attuned to the creative nature will hit us in different ways because of the multidimensional nature in which we are saying or in which we are attuning to that and the way that we realize the degree in which we are attuned to the higher self is when we get to the point where we are no longer we only know things from our level of perception and if we perceive things to be in a very linear past paradigm or if that is what we are tuning to we're never going to understand the downloads and the the extent of that which we are now seeing so whenever people are now realizing that certain content even my own content i was realizing that time space is not just an illusion but the multi-dimensionality of everything that i say in any given time and how that will hit different people differently based on their current level of perception and so we speak in multi-dimensional terms already the content that we're watching even like let's think about the matrix in that film a lot of what was being done that was creative or be was being channeled by the creators of the film in that moment they probably didn't realize the extent of what it is that they were suggesting implying through various mediums characters and archetypes but as they're watching it now they're probably realizing the extent of the validity and truth that existed in that moment and as we are becoming more attuned to that higher side of us those the things that we've said in the in the quote-unquote past we're realizing we were speaking in future tense but really multi-dimensional tense and that 
every aspect of everything around us is understood completely different based on the level of perception and our attunements really that we that we are in that moment based on the work that we're willing to do in that moment and based on the introspection that we're willing to do in the moment the more we can align with the greatest goal and vision that we have to our higher calling or or whatever it is or our dreams and aspirations are you whatever you desire then the more seamless or the quicker in the time space multidimensional illusion will it all come to you and so it really hit me that you know it's it has to be an illusion because so much of it there is no way i comprehend it in that nature now that i do not remember it i remember what i was saying but the depths in which the meaning held i'm understanding a lot of times even of my own learning months months later because I've always been more conscious to being attuned to myself, my inner child, my higher self and source rather than all of these different polarities of light and dark and what have you. But it's become very clear now that the as we are now all ascending, something that the masculine polarity within all of us or or without the, the people that are predisposed to being attuned to the more masculine nature is that they are realizing that the the consciousness and what they are attuned to is now lining lining up more and more with all the time frames and everything that we give thought to we're giving power to and it is an aspect of our future self and the different timelines merging so our ability then to manifest what it is that we always wanted or our highest alignments and our higher calling and potential we're starting to realize actually is a different version of us in in these current time space reality and as we are ascending from perceiving time space as linear we are realizing that all of the thoughts and creative abilities and all of the things that we've been guided to do and our wildest dreams are versions of ourselves coming through us through the medium of our creativity if you think about creativity in general it is the very aspect of creation it cannot be conceptualized by science it is the very essence that we are attuned to something bigger than ourselves and now as the veils are thinning we are also becoming attuned to the manifestation and the power that that has part of the reason why it seems like a lot of the time frames are collapsing and time is going by faster and faster is because what we are experiencing is our higher self collapsing onto our pain body and going back to the as above so below as within so without the the nature that people have explained of the very essence of why time seems to be perceivably going faster by scientific or so philosophical nature of past paradigms is because every year that we live is a fractal smaller of our age so if you go from one year old to being two years old that time space sequence seems to have been a hundred percent of the life as you knew it prior if you're going from 20 to 21 that is one one twentieth fractal of your life but that is the perception here below because as above it is also the direct equation of our higher self and our inner child also merging with the pain body and our connection to source now with the veil thinning we are realizing the propensity that the what we align with and are tuned to in our thoughts is now all lining up with our past present and future and we can change a lot of the past because oftentimes what we're starting to realize is how we felt in a certain aspect of our past, whether that was anxiety that you felt when you were eight, could be your higher self warning you in a different time space sequence or in a different dimensionality, because we are becoming more aware of our multidimensionality, that there are certain things in that nature that or what was happening in that moment that could affect us later thus then changing possibly triggers that we are experiencing today our future self telling us or a higher self telling us because again time is an illusion our higher self telling us that, that is something that we need to work on in other in order for it to merge and as people are starting to question more and more where does their higher self start and their matrix body or their matrix illusion end and where is that gap to that needs to be closed people are realizing that they have been plugged into a system that we are all transcending from so a lot of what's happening like i said earlier with the masculine polarity is them really beginning to question what is the highest potential because what is now being challenged is the complacency in which they have set their life to be today and their highest potential and now that gap must be closed 
And as that gap closes, people will start to have to question all of the things that they have subscribed to believe in this time as we are now all transcending to the next uh, paradigm and in the evolution of consciousness as a collective experience. And with this, something that is worth noting beyond just every trigger is like a check engine line that invites us to introspect and look within us. Something that is now also worth understanding is what is it that that our impulses or that are things that we need to overcome or th those triggers what is it that we can work on right now that will get us to the next level so something that i had a hard time prior was my ability to let certain downloads uh, be restricted to certain people because that would get in the way of their journey i know i am here with youtube on youtube saying a lot of these things but if you're on this channel if you've made it this far to this video you are to some way shape or form in the desire state to understand and receive this information otherwise you would not have made it this far but going back to something that i needed to overcome was my ability to withhold information to not get in the way of people's soul journey and what i realized is the more i was able to do that the more i was able to transcend and the more i was able to manifest and so now it's really getting to understand what is it about our soul contracts that we need to be more attuned to that is calling us to pay attention to whether that is a very faint resonance of anxiety in a specific instance moments and becoming more attuned to that and then understanding what it is to transcend and in that in that gap between where we are today and the highest potential that we see that we align with as all of those multidimensionalities are now aligning with one another and we are becoming the manifestors by the way and the rates in which we are willing to overcome our own challenges in this paradigm that our soul contract needs to overcome as we make a conscious effort to align more with that and we also will be able to manifest a lot more as we transcend those triggers and those soul contract uh, challenges that we came into this world with. So part of, of the activation code that has been descended upon us and and the creativity that has now been activated for us to manifest something that could also be beneficial as to manifest everything you wanted, whether that is wealth, abundance, twin flame union, the why behind the water thinking grow rich and things like that is to begin to pay attention to the things that are calling us to be introspected, even whenever they're not necessarily triggers. What is it that we need to transcend from? And a lot of times that some an easy way to start is to wish other people well who maybe have done wrong to you because what we are attuning to and what we're putting out there is the the way in which our vessel or, or our energy is being navigated now in the multidimensionality aspect of it while simultaneously pulling us to being in the alignment with our higher self and the more we are able to overcome the things that we need to learn in this paradigm the the higher the propensity of us manifesting everything we ever wanted becomes possible and the more of our ability to endeavor and to change the time space and motion sequence of our experience and the more we are able to really um, embody that which we've always wanted and we are able to begin to operate from the state of the higher self so you know an easy way to also begin to do this is to ask yourself you know in, in the overall scheme of things, in the bigger picture, will this trigger situation warning with what I have to say now, is it kind, is it helpful, and what is my intention? And the more we are able to operate from that state of being, that, the sooner we will be able to manifest and transcend those things. Another thing in this paradigm that we are now transcending that has now become very clear is that the old system that was built on really stealing people's information right so if we think about the information that we valued and that we have valued up until now even in the higher education even when it comes to like corporate law and whether this belongs to you or me going back to a lot of the taylor swift and the music industry and you know should artists own their masters we're realizing that this whole paradigm has been predicated and built on not only mining people's energy but figuring out the best ways to steal based on logical justification and legal 
uh, explanation, which now is no longer resonating with people and people are wholeheartedly rejecting that, pushing the needle further for the masculine polarity and those that have instituted this paradigm to introspect and figure out what it is that is really calling to them and what it is that they care about. Because those systems that really led us to nowhere, those smoky mirrors, those systems in place to keep us distracted from our highest calling whether that be you know if we think even as someone that comes from the business background a lot of these contracts is just uh technicalities and things that in no way shape or form propel us forward in the evolution and it's really just in the evolution of our consciousness and it's really just they're designed to have people that are not a creative resonance that are of a lower vibrational resonance still ideas information and what have you and just pl put it on well this is the paradigm that we subscribe to and we know better now that's being transcended and that is forcing people to really ask themselves what it is that their higher calling is because what they're holding on to no longer works is the reason why now cultural currency is the most powerful currency because it's not about and there and there was so much of this exposure energy because part of this is not even mean or rude or or vengeful or hateful but it's rather transmuting the karma that is now long overdue so we can get on to bigger better and brighter things and now everyone is beginning to realize that so as these light codes get activated and as our higher self is collapsing with our pain body and our inner child and our discernment is getting fine-tuned we are now at a place where Time, space, and motion is now so much more malleable to those of us who have transcended the... Because what we are really transcending is, you know, attachment is the root of all suffering. And for the longest time, we've been attached to these paradigms and these ways of doing things that have not been for the greater good of anyone, really. And it's just been based on running around in circles, chasing our own tail and all roads really leading to nowhere and now we are beginning to become a lot more immortalized in what it is that we are doing and we are now being called to align with the things that we are being called to do so with that being said guys um that is a quick energy update of the downloads and discharges that of light code that are now coming on us and so something worth considering and something worth uh you know paying attention to as we move forward is understanding not just our triggers and then doing the regression of where it comes from and then feeling those things to heal them and embracing that kind of pain where we've learned from it to let it go but then also looking forward in our thoughts our dreams our i you know our most perfect life the highest version of ourselves and understand what is it that our higher self from that standpoint is commuting Cating it to us in this uh, dimensionality in this in this very moment in time and what is it that needs to be done to reach that and what is a distraction from that and the more we are able to merge those two the more seamless the integration of our higher self and our pain body and our ascension process thereof or thereafter becomes so with that being said, guys, love and light, and I will see you guys next time.